from this page level we know we need only what is class 15 agree you are getting that class 15 and then you are passing to xyz and you are uh, using the xyz to query the database of user table and then getting the data so only thing is what is class class 15 agree ma yes sir <laughs> yeah if any questions please rise in this part i'm in scripting include part clear ma okay now like can you let me know that uh, get parameter ma get param get param that. like see we are using this na this yes. and get param like you are getting a parameter of this particular script include okay this may this this particular line will uh, help you to interact between client side and server side i will i will just okay. tell you ma okay this get param okay. just to keep it okay but we need class 15 right okay okay so what is class 15 is okay ga add param you define a variable here or parameter here okay the parameter name is class 15 okay so the class 15 is what you are mentioning here you define there okay ga add param class 15 equal to abc so what is abc in this client script ma field name this id of the particular yes color this ID of the particular user that you are selecting. So the this ID of the particular user you are keeping in ABC and that ABC you are keeping in you are passing that ABC value to class 15. Okay, you are adding a parameter here. Okay, Virabhav, I think you asked na? you are defining a parameter called class 15 and assigning that ABC this ID value to class 15 and one step here. Okay go here that class 15 you are getting the parameter there you added a parameter you you are getting the value of a parameter which parameter class 15 so the abc value that you have here that is a sys id of user that will come to abc here and that will be equalized to this parameter which you defined here and this parameter is being called using get parameter and you will be getting the value and assigning to xyz so this line line number five this line line number 11 are connectors between your client script and server side script why because you have some variable something here and there this variable definition is different you are equalizing them in some other client script that may be different so that time using xy using class 15 maybe you you take class 15 and then you use class 15 here and then you pass maybe some DCE so you need to equalize it and get this one here you added a parameter there and you got the parameter from here so this is the connector between client and server if you don't pass value in this line number 11 then the right sys id will not be passed automatically the return will not function properly So now whoever was asked about to ask some question what is this one what is this one okay and what is this one is that clear now yes sunita yes. garu is that clear ma i think Chandra? no sir no sir <laughs> no okay ma fine no fine uh, i think someone chandra i think chandra. yeah it is clear sir it is clear what is not clear ma sunita garu can can you tell sir me? from the basic like uh, which will we have created script include and uh, my basic question is first uh, which one will run sir like i understood little bit that here we are creating a parameter and that one we are calling in the okay, client okay. script so okay. which one fine fine see here the answer the question is something like so i ask you to define a function ma. function okay so you take a variable okay variable name is usr okay and something you get it and then you do operations on usr okay uh, usr shopping usr okay uh, sleeping usr uh, maybe walking okay so this function is a server side function you define a variable called usr and you are doing all the activities on usr 
this first part is that clear ma yes sir now you want to use the same function in client side but the client side okay client script okay you define a variable called okay maybe it's not user but abc in client script abc is the user and you want to use all these activities for abc so if you directly call this function will the function runs on this particular client side no it will not run because here you defined a variable called abc but here it is user maybe in your other client script okay you may use the same user as 123 okay so abc should be user when you want to call it 123 should be user when you want to call it is that clear yes yes so now from client side okay see forget about server side okay client side okay so you have what is you have abc here right yes so huh. abc is your is your selected user this is where you are getting the requirement so abc is abraham lincoln okay so here in scripting include maybe someone defined it okay not you but someone defined it there is already a function okay there it is representing x y g is the user see here gr glide record of sys user table sys id equal to abc x y g okay and get the details of x y g the output of this one output is this one and now in your client script it is abc so x y g is not abc right how you yes. pass the abc here that's what the point is you need to pass abc value like customer farmer name farmer sys id here in this line then only you will get it you got it ma yes so to do this what you are doing is when you are calling a script include as a third line you define a parameter the parameter name is class 15 i can give any name i can i just given class 15 to this parameter i am passing the sys id of the user from where i am getting the sys id of the user from this line number 6 mm. okay so now our hero our user is class 15 right yes so now i am using this class 15 here maybe i am showing in a negative reverse way okay in order to make it little simple but you need to align this class 15 in your client script maybe i need to show in a reverse way okay to make it little slowly understandable i am just showing this way because this is standard this will be dynamic so whatever the get param is here na the get param value i need to take here so anyway either way class 15 you have here and the class 15 is being called here so get param of class 15 so now what you get it from client side what you get it ma as a parameter what is class 15 user class 15 is abc username right Why again and again yes, we are yes, saying username? Yes, yes, yes. Sys ID. Sys ID. If, Sys ID. Yeah. yeah. Username. If you say username, it is a blunder. It's a text file, not a Sys ID. Okay. So you are getting ABC in class 15, right? The class 15 ABC you are passing to XYZ and you are passing that XYZ to Sys ID. So it will query. It will go to the table, get the user, print the user details. So you are connecting this. You are connecting the client script and script include using this particular line okay if you don't pass this line properly then the communication will not happen properly this is what my statement is clear ma yes sir okay so if everyone clear line number 11 please please acknowledge this is very important one any one please any one not clear maybe you can just tell me we can explain one more time that's clear ma clear okay so see here you call the script include you call the function name you equalize the value now you need to run it you need to run the function so get xml okay and then you are running it i am just using a other function it is like callback function okay i can just explain later so i am using a callback function and then defining here so i am running it so the output is this one okay so whatever output i am getting i am keeping as a variable 
So this is the standard line, ma. You will get to everywhere in scripting cloud client side callable, okay? So you will you will get the answer, and you are keeping the answer into server side response, okay? You can take any variable, okay? Let's say response, simple res, okay? And I'm printing the rest here, resp. Let's say resp. I'm printing the resp here, response, okay? So whenever I change this value, whenever this particular client side script runs, it connects to this script include, it executes the function. This is the line to execute the function and it gets the answer and you are printing the answer using resp. Okay, so I am keeping an alert. Now, till this point, this is our client server connector. Okay, you, you will receive the uh, you will receive the output of function here only. Okay, this is where your job ended. Client callable, client called server values. Okay, so now see, I am ending here. Okay, now if you go and see it should get you the details so see here okay i am selecting a user just to see abraham lincoln okay so on change when, whenever i change the value okay just to see just imagine okay this value is first on change client script triggered okay this value gone to abc abc variable and abc variable is aligned to add param class 15 okay and the script include executed the next line when the script include executed it went to script include class 15 become xyg okay and xyg is queried in glide record where g gr equal to new glide record of cc user table cc id equal to xyg so abraham lincoln details gr dot first name gr dot last name gr dot manager gr dot email return with the special character it is returned so the return return is always the script include always write in the form of text and this is the text we got it from server side and in alert i printed it is that clear now see here this is the output still we, our requirement is not fulfilled but this is the output so you got this server side values into client side you got it right without get reference you got it shall i say like this you observed this one ma how you got this alert yes we put alert there alert and i am printing this one so you are printing this one so see gr dot first name a character last name a character manager manager is a reference field sys id and then email so you are getting the same stuff here and I am printing the alert, right? So, resp I am printing. So, whatever I am getting there as an answer, okay, I am keeping into a variable called resp and I am printing that alert. This is the one which we are seeing here. Till this point clear, ma? Yes, no, please confirm. Any no's here, please raise it, ma? Please, ma? Please acknowledge. Is that clear? Is that not clear? Not clear. 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 One clear. So remaining 14 people. Okay. So you got the response. Okay. So the response is something like this. Right. Now, what I got it is here now how i use this one to set what is our output ma? our output is i need to set the values right first name should come here last name should come here okay the manager society should come here email should come here this is what my thing so the output you need to use make make use of this output to set the values okay so this is pure coding okay from here this is pure coding it is not service now but it is pure coding what you are doing is okay you are taking a variable called result you can take anything okay result split it the resp na? so what is resp resp is the text this text okay in the text what is the divider this is the divider okay between the values this is the divider that is the reason we intentionally kept slow we took an array and we are splitting it with this character okay so that the values will come to the array 
okay so first value second value third value and fourth value okay so array will always start with zero a array of zero first array of zero second array of zero third array of zero four array of four this one array of zero array of one array of two array of three so this is the thing right now I, how i am using it i need to use those values okay result is an array which hold these four values okay now how i am using it is g form set value okay what is that first name farmer first name right okay farmer first name equal to result dot zero so whatever i am getting the input i am using i am setting that value to farmer first name okay so farmer last name so what is array of one yes farmer last name lincoln so third one manager so manager is same email id right so so manager is this id so again here we have the same thing right? so get that field so this field right so farmer manager okay result of two result of two means zero one two okay and last one is this one okay so now i have some text this is complete coding ma okay you have a text something like see here maybe array concept array okay you have something called three okay k maybe uh, there is one thing like uh, let's say new york okay so there is a program in your computer science classes now btech mtech mca and all there is a small program that will say like reverse this one so what you do is read everything and then reverse it so reverse is like the output will be k r o y w e n so what you do is you take an array and then you pass each value array of 0 n array of array of 0 array of 1 array of 2 array of 3 array of 4 array of 5 array of 6 you take all this in an array okay you read that string convert it to array and then you write a for loop okay and then you print in the for loop how you do is you make it reverse i equal to 0 okay i less than r uh, array of arr length okay i minus minus you say so it will come reverse then you return okay a uh, array of uh, array of what last a of whatever the last word na, that you printed so the, it will print in the reverse way i don't know exactly but it could be you can you can just check that kind of function so why you are using array is you use array to contain something array is a container container of multiple things okay so here also you have a, a, a text and you are splitting it and then you are containing those values finally the array of four array of three is like it have four values it is holding those four values and you are using those four values in your client script split is a function to split any text into uh, parts that is the reason we intentionally kept this symbol okay when you are writing here if you say underscore if you say some other maybe on person maybe you need to split with on person here okay ma so now i am executing it let's see whether it works or not then if it fails maybe we need to see what it should work okay let's take any user maybe first user uh, maybe uh, okay i am taking this user okay andrew jackson and here she said is missing means that user doesn't have a manager and email id very good now first name set last name set farmer email set but manager didn't set because manager is empty for this user okay now take another user who have a manager maybe uh, this one i am printing why we are printing is we need to see what data it is coming from server 
that is the reason I am printing. So this guy also doesn't have a manager, but it populated. Very good. Now take this guy who have a manager. See here, one, two, three, and four. See, auto populated. You are getting it, ma? Now you got it. Everything. What is what exactly we did? Okay, it looks a little complex, but it is same structure everywhere. You need to practice it once, then only you will get it. Okay, you are calling a script include, and you are calling a function. You are equalizing it. You are running it. Once you run it, you get an answer. This is also a standard line. How you use the answer from your client script that is difference. That is that may change. For our can for our requirement here, I splitted it and then I used it to split the value. But maybe you may use it in different way. In your some other requirements but what you are calling what is this what is this and all you need to understand what is script include okay how you call a script include from client side till this point clear my everyone yes no yes, sir okay if you are not using that semicolon right for a split uh, if we are using any other thing, then we need to put that one. Why we used split semicolon is see here. Okay, let's say uh, here between these two we have semicolon. Now nah? that's why I used. So let's say here yeah. instead of mm -hmm. when we are returning now nah? instead of this symbol, let's say you have one percent. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this one. As you ask now, nah? let's try this one. Okay, so the output how it comes is let's see first. Okay. So now you here, you are here. The output will come, but it will not work because the array splitting will not work here. See here, hmm. Abraham unpercent, Lincoln unpercent, CCD of the manager unpercent, email ID. You got it, ma? Yeah. Okay. Now if I say okay, the second next line should work, but see here. You didn't. See, if you see, if you observe this one, you will understand the entire thing entire came thing. here as a text, and remaining mm -hmm. thing, it is zero. So a of zero is one. It got only one value, and it kept here. And for remaining, because it, the split didn't happen, okay. For mm -hmm. all, it is undefined. Nothing is there. Yes. Okay. Now instead of here this symbol, if I make it split, na, then whatever the content it is coming, it will split. So when it split. It will be uh, divided the four items. The same text that you are getting, it will be divided four items, and four items will be four values of array, and then it will get those values and set value. Okay, and this is fine. Yeah, see here, the split happened now. Clear, ma? Yes. Yeah. Good. So see here, that is what I can say. Okay, first important thing is you need to understand Glide record because script include runs on server side completely, pure server side. So we write all the functions using Glide record. So Glide record is must. And then how you can call a function or a script include function from client side is using Glide Ajax. And this is the standard format. These two lines standard. These two lines for standard. And you get the answer response. How you use the response in your client side is your all requirement. Okay, ma, is that clear? Okay, this yes. this looks maybe a little odd, but it is very easy only. Maybe we need to practice it and understand in a lighter way. Okay, now I think it is simple, right? Compared to maybe the first first site we've seen it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 